Building the team behind your startup is the most high leverage thing you can do. That's why you need a process in place that will ensure the path from job opening to final offer is a smooth one. Notion can be your ideal hiring companion. Use it to draft job descriptions, share new openings on the web, and gather feedback about a potential hire. This video will focus on creating a database that keeps track of all applicants as they progress through the interview stages, so everyone at your company is on the same page every step of the hiring process. We'll use this workspace for a company called Acme Inc. as an example. From the sidebar, we can jump directly into the People Wiki, which is a place the People team uses to store important docs and processes. This is where we'll add our applicant tracker. Let's place the cursor at the bottom of our top links column, type the forward slash key, then the word page, followed by enter. This action automatically creates a new page within the people page. Let's give our new page a name and select the board option in the database section. Our empty board is now ready to be filled with content and properties. These three cards are here by default and we will eventually repurpose these to become applicants. Now, say you want to group your candidates according to their application status. You'll have to rename each of your columns. For example, call the first one lead, the second one screen, and the third one interview. Let's also add a new column, which we can deem offer. Now, we can add the names of every candidate in this board and place them according to every interview stage. Let's move cards one, two, and three to our first column. This column is here to display cards that have no status. Since we plan on assigning a status to all of our cards, let's hide it from our database. Click on the first card, and you'll see that every entry is in fact a page in itself. Rename it at the top, and click out of the page. Repeat the same steps for cards 2 and 3. To add a new card to a column, you'll just need to click on the plus sign and type in their name. As soon as an entry has a name, you can click on it to access its page. You can use all this space to store everything about the candidate, jot down interview notes, or tag teammates for feedback. But you'll want to add structure to this content to make it easily readable by anyone hopping into the interview process. To help ensure your interview process is standardized for every applicant, consider using a template that contains questions every interviewer asks, provides instructions on next steps, and more. If you click on the downwards arrow next to New, you'll find the option of adding a template to your database. Click on New Template, and a new page will open up. Whatever content you add in there will be duplicatable. Let's name our first template General Screening Interview. In there, we can add a cover image and icon, specify that the status is Screen, and paste in the questions every interviewer should ask to fill this role, and any other specific interview steps or structures. Notice that we're using headers to separate our sections, as well as bullet points and checklists to show how we want the answers displayed. Once our template is complete, click out of the page to save it. We can repeat the same steps to create as many templates as we want. For example, these software engineer and copywriter templates show the questions the team wishes to ask for each of these very different roles. To use a template for a new entry, simply click on the downwards arrow again, Select it from the list, and add the rest of your information in the card. No need to copy-paste anything from previous cards. This section at the top is dedicated to properties. We call properties pieces of information about each entry in a database. They can come in many different forms, such as text, numbers, dates, and even people. Properties help you view and process your data in different ways. We'll get to this in a minute, but for now, Let's focus on adding new properties to your applicant tracker. There's all kinds of information you may want to highlight about a candidate. For example, you could specify the hiring manager. For this, simply rename this already existing person property to hiring manager and hit enter. Now, what if you wanted to capture the source your lead is coming from? Click on add property, pick a single select property and call it source. In the empty space next to it, Type in inbound, followed by enter, then referral, and hit enter again. Now, every time someone adds a new candidate to the database, they'll be able to communicate whether this person came as a referral or an inbound lead by selecting one of the two options in the dropdown. You can use single select properties to save information like the role the person is interviewing for, 
or the team they would be joining, as well as the office location. Another thing we can add is a property called Skills and make it a multi-select property. This allows you to add more than one skill per candidate. Let's attach a website property where you can paste in the person's professional website, their LinkedIn profile, for example. To have a candidate's email handy, include an email property. Finally, let's add a date property to inform team members of the day the new hire starts the job. Our database now boasts 10 properties, where you can fill out all the information regarding Ada Lovelace. If you click on the empty space next to a person property, a list of all workspace members will show up. Select the hiring manager from the list, or look them up in the search bar. Now let's change the candidate's source to inbound, and select the person's role, team, and location from the drop-down menus you created. For the skills properties, you can select as many tags as you want. If you can't find one right away, look it up in the search bar. Then we can paste in the candidate's website and email. Since the candidate hasn't been interviewed yet, we won't add a start date. Just note that if you click on the empty space next to a date property, a calendar will pop up and you'll be able to select your date from there. Now back to our board. This is what a full applicant tracker could look like. Notice that the only property that is visible on our cards is the hiring manager. We can easily change this by clicking on the properties section. Let's toggle on the properties we want to show and toggle off the properties we want to hide. Keep in mind that hiding properties does not delete them from the database. If you click into any card, they will appear again at the top. Rather, it helps you see more salient information at first glance. Another great thing about Notion databases is that you can choose to view your information in many different ways. For example, instead of organizing your cards by hiring status, why not group them by hiring manager? To do this, you'll need to add a new view to your database. Click on Add a View, give your new view a name, in this case, by hiring manager, select the board database, and hit Create. Next to the Properties menu, you'll find a Group By menu. Click on it, and in the drop-down, select the Hiring Manager property. Every column now shows all the candidates a hiring manager is responsible for interviewing. You may create another board view, this time grouping information by source. Or opt for a calendar view that showcases successful candidates' start dates. Finally, you may want to create a table view for every team. Now, if we want this view to only show engineering candidates, we'll need to add a filter that specifies we only want to see entries where the team is engineering. Let's create a table view for every remaining team and apply the same filter for them. Finally, you can rename your initial board view to By Status. All done now! Your database is final, complete with its custom properties, templates, and views. Building a system to help track applicants and usher them through your processes is simple to set up, and it will save you time, confusion, and maybe even losing out on excellent talent. You'll be able to collaborate closely with teammates to scan the candidate pool, and easily iterate any process changes along the way. Most of all, you'll have the headspace you need to hire the very best people in your team. On that, we wish you good luck.